Hi guys, Paige Hudson here, and we're back for the second part of our tour through the Grammar Stage Guide. In this part, we're going to look at the actual lesson plans and a little bit at the appendix. Let's dig in. Okay, so let's take a look at the unit, your actual planning sheets for the week. So you'll have the human body unit, and after that you will have the unit overview sheet. It'll tell you which encyclopedias are scheduled through it. You've got your younger and your older option again, and it'll tell you the scientific demonstration book you need. Uh, then it'll walk you through the sequence, weeks one through 10. We really recommend you go through the weeks as scheduled. Of course, you can swap around units within the program, but uh, we recommend that you don't swap around the weeks within a unit. And then you will have the human body poem that you're memorizing for the week. It'll be there for your reference. And then you will have the supplies you need in that unit and also the vocabulary. In your student guide, student will also have the unit sheet and then they will have the unit project. The pictures for this are in the back of their guide and their vocabulary is actually in a separate section in the memory work as well. So you can see in the back of the guide on page 102 in the biology grammar stage, you'll have that human body poem and then you'll have their vocabulary will begin in their own glossary section. So those will be ABC order. And then you can see the project pictures also are in the back. So you'll use these pictures with the human body project. Anytime you need pictures like that for the unit project, we'll provide them for you in the back. So we look at this week one schedule and what your plan is gonna have each week. You'll have, again, that scientific demonstration we discussed. You'll have the supplies you need, you'll have the purpose so you know where you're going with the demonstration, and then instructions and explanation. So in this particular one, because we didn't lay out the experiment for you, uh, the instructions and explanation will be together. They're provided in the Janice Van Cleef's biology for every kid. And then it'll tell you which uh, sheet they need for their lab report in their student guide. So you flip over to the student guide and you can see on page 53, there's the customized demonstration sheet or lab report sheet for their demonstration. So you'll have the information there and then you'll also have an idea to take it further. So you don't have to do these activities. They're just additional things. Sometimes they're science related, sometimes they're art related. Uh, but the idea is if your student's really interested in the demonstration, uh, you can just take it a step further with them by using those ideas. So then you'll have the science-oriented books section. And this section will have the pages in the two encyclopedia options for you, the younger one first and then the older one. We'll also have additional topics that you could explore and let you know which encyclopedia that comes from. And then we'll give you discussion questions. So for instance, as you read the body organization or the amazing body section, you can ask these questions about cells. What are cells? How many cells do we have in our body? So you can use those to kind of begin the discussion with your students. As we always recommend, you have a discussion time with them before you ask them to fill in their narration. So after you ask those questions of them and they answer them, or you may need to help them remember what the answer was, either by rereading the section or by sharing the information with them, then at that point, we're gonna ask the student, hey, what did you learn about cells? What is one thing you learned about cells? Or two things, depending on how old they are. And then you write that down on student workbook narration sheet. Whether uh, they're writing it or you're writing it is completely up to you and their abilities. But you'll have three topics like that. Sometimes there will only be two in a week, but generally you'll have three. And each one will have a separate option on the workbook or you'll have additional book options you can look at from the library if you wanna add some more. Again, this is the narration page I just showed you on Student Workbook, page 52. And we'll give you an optional narration at the beginning of the unit to kind of give you an idea of what your students could say. Of course, your students' narration can be completely different, and that's fine. Uh, we just kind of want, if you're looking for what you want them to write down, these discussion questions, uh, we'll give you those answers. At this time, you'll be reading the information with your students, so that's why we don't provide the answers to those discussion questions in there. The optional lap book, those lap booking templates we discussed in the introduction, 
you'll put, we'll have directions for each one of those mini books there. And then you'll have the vocab you want to point out. We'll have the unit project directions. So this particular unit for the entire time, you're adding the different parts of the body as you go through. And so their students are adding it to that the front and the back of their human body in their student workbook. And it'll tell you exactly which one to look for, or you can make a life-size one of yourself. Usually it'll tell you exactly what page to pull the picture from as well. I'll give you some more ideas. So you could do some optional microscope work with this unit. And then we'll also give you the pages for the coloring pages if you want to use those with your younger students or your creative student. And then for each topic that they're covering, uh, we're going to give you some kind of project or activity you could do. Sometimes, again, these are art projects. Sometimes they're science projects. As they get a little older in chemistry and physics, sometimes they're a little bit of a research project. But simple stuff that your kids can do. So this is how you can add to the week if you want to. Again, these are optional ideas, so don't feel like you have to get these done. It's just if your students are interested in the topic and you want to do more. And then you'll have your memory work. The poem won't always be here. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But again, that's referenced in the back of the student guide. You'll have that that they can look at, or you can make a copy of it and post it on the wall so that you can refer to it every time you do it or you will have it at the beginning of your unit overview. Then you'll have uh, which quiz you should give your students. So remember, these quizzes are at the back of the student guide. So all the way in the back of the student guide, you'll find these quizzes, and it'll tell you it's on page Q25 at the back of the student guide. There it is. And then it will give you the answers to the quiz itself. Again, you can give these orally or you can have your students fill them out. What is the most interesting thing you learned this week is going to vary every single time, but we like asking that question, especially in the younger years. Makes the quiz a little bit easier on them. And then you will have your possible schedules. So you'll have two days a week and five days a week. And again, these will basically contain the same things. It's just you're completing them in two days versus five days. There are a few things that aren't included, for instance, the cell project and the hair project, the project, the additional projects are not included in the two day a week schedule. The unit project is, but not the additional ones. So you can decide what fits your schedule and the idea is for you to customize it to what fits for your homeschool and your schedule and what you're able to do. So that's a look at each week. You will have the same four sheets with those demonstrations and the books with your questions, uh, with your notebooking directions and vocab and all those projects and activity ideas, and then your memory work and the quiz and the quiz answers and your schedules. So that's what each week will look like in your teacher's guide. And then of course, the coordinating pages in your student guide and your student can move through with you. And of course you can write or they can write themselves and they'll have a beautiful record of what they've learned as you work through the program. Okay, the last thing I want to do is take you through the appendix, which will have all those templates and things that didn't quite fit in your weekly lesson plan sheets or in the intro. So the appendix is going to be a great resource for you. In this particular guide, we have the diet chart placement guide. So any kind of additional information or directions on projects that you need that wouldn't fit within those weekly lesson plans, we'll have here in the appendix for you. And then we will have any templates. So for instance, in biology for the grammar stage, you're making habitat posters and adding the animals. So some sample habitat posters will be there for you. You can make your own, but those will be there for your and then we'll have, again, templates of an animal observation sheet. So these are templates of things you could create your own or we have already provided them for you. And if you want to download those without having to make copies of your printed guide, we have that at that resource page we mentioned back in the intro section. And then after we have all these beautiful templates laid out for you, uh, we have the glossary. So again, if you want to print this out and have your students copy the definitions directly from the glossary, or if you just want to tuck it away to use it for yourself, for your own use, 
to make it easier to go through the vocabulary words. They're all there in one place. And then we also have general templates. So if you want to record a project or have them do a narration sheet for a project uh, that there isn't space for it already in the student workbook, uh, there's a sheet for that. And then we also have two day a week and a five day a week schedule for you if you want to create your own schedule above and beyond what we already provide in the guide. So that's a look at your grammar stage guide and student workbook. If you have any questions about what you see or as you work through the materials, please don't hesitate to send them to support at elementalscience.com and we'll answer them as soon as we're able. Thanks for listening and I hope you have a wonderful year with science.